Ultrasound. It's not just for baby looking anymore. Hey everybody, I'm David Geisler. This is the Technophiles Newscast, and ultrasound is changing the way we treat Alzheimer's. Over at the University of Queensland, the Queensland Brain Institute has actually created a technology that allows them to non-invasively remove the amyloid plaques from a brain suffering from Alzheimer's. There's kind of two different things that happen to a brain that has Alzheimer's, one of which is something that's called neurofibrillary tangles, and basically just think of it as a traffic jam of neurons. Things get messy. And the other is amyloid plaque buildup, and that is is, for the sake of this video, just think of it as junk that gets stuck in the middle of the neurons and they can't talk to each other. I just want to take a second here because as we were studying this story, we assumed that what the Queensland Brain Institute did was create a way to have the ultrasound break up the plaque. But that's actually not the case. It's way more interesting than that. So what they actually do is send focused ultrasound into the brain to open up what is called the blood-brain barrier. This is a layer that protects the brain from bacteria, things like that. What it also does is it actually stimulates the brain's microglial cells. Microglial cells are basically cells that uh, go around and keep the brain clean. And in a regular functioning brain, this plaque would be removed by these cells. We were kind of blown away because ultrasound has been used in medicine for things like breaking up kidney stones, and we just assumed breakup up the gunk, but <laughs> they're actually going in there and kind of massaging the troops, giving them some food and sending them out to go do their normal natural thing. The Queensland Brain Institute has announced that they've actually been able to restore mice brains 100%, 75% of the time. That does not mean that they can restore a brain 75% of the way all the time. It means that 75% of the time, it is completely working. That is so exciting. It doesn't necessarily mean that 25% of the time it doesn't work at all. So this just sounds phenomenal. And the scientists have said that they'd like to now start working on brains that are a little bit more complicated, larger organisms and things like that. The fact that this is not invasive means that there's such less risk. And they actually think that they could start human trials in 2017. I mean, I gotta say, I think that this could be a phenomenal step forward in the treatment of Alzheimer's. Well, how do you guys feel about it all? Let me know in the comments down below, or tweet us at TechnophilesPod, or find us on Facebook by searching Technophiles. Of course, you can go to our actual website, TechnophilesPodcast.com, where you can check out other newscast episodes, or listen to our actual podcast, The Technophiles Podcast. All right, that's it, guys. I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you Thursday. Hey, guys, hope you liked the video. I invite you to check me out over here, or check Tina out over here. Or you can subscribe right here. Get at it. <laughs>